hello friends now we'll see one more very simple example of isometric view where we'll study how to draw non isometric line in isometric view so for that purpose i have taken this example length of this object is 60 width is width is 40 and height is 60 always you have to uh, mark or give you to write this length overall length of the object which is going to be 60 width is going to be 40 and height is 60 these three things are must once we are knowing these three things length 60 width 40 and height 60 then easily we can draw this object for uh, from this length width and height prepare the isometric view first and for preparing the isometric view use very light lines always mark the horizontal line on lower side then mark the vertical line like this wherever these two lines intersects that point is going to be origin and after marking the origin mark on left hand side 30 degree inclined line like this as well as on right hand side also 30 degree inclined line so this easily with the help of scale and protractor you can mark such lines this is the length then what we have to do on this three axis it is the length axis because origin on left hand side length will be towards right it is length axis it is width axis and it is height so whatever these three dimensions overall dimensions are there on length we can mark we can mark its length then on width we can mark the width of the object which is going to be 40 and on vertical we can mark its height height is 60 height is it is 60 and always i'll suggest once you mark the height of the object or remove remove this upper portion of the height exactly it should be 60 it is must then on the length uh, on the width we have marked 40 mm from this 40 from this 40 draw the vertical line then again on length we have marked 60 from that marking of 60 we can mark the vertical line then from the height which is 60 mark this line parallel to length Similarly, from this point, mark line parallel to width and if it is not intersecting, again extend your vertical line, it will intersect. And from this intersecting points, again line parallel to length and from this line parallel to width so it is the proper isometric box where length is 60 width is 40 width is 40 just i'll check it is 40 and height is 60 once we prepare this isometric box then remaining things are very simple now it's quite interesting also so we'll see one by one 
how to draw the isometric wave. So this is going to be origin and now this origin it is there in the front view and top view. Then from the origin as I told mark the three edges length, width, height. So if you see its front view towards right how much length is there 60 mm. Then towards right from the origin if I mark 60 it will be at this place it is 60 then height is 20 only means from this origin vertically I have to mark only 20 this much it is 20 only and as for the width is concerned if you see the top view it is 40 and 40 in the direction of width if I mark it will be like this 40 will be up to this so these are the three edges at the origin then once we mark three edges from the origin then give some number and that number will be <coughs> at this place it is one middle point it is one in the front uh, in the isometric object or in the three dimensional object this is the direction of observation it is going to be front view side view and top view then this one we can mark in this orthographic it is one and at the origin itself it is one then from the origin uh, from one point one we have to mark the three edges already depth it has been marked and if you see the width width is 40 width is 40 from one i can mark easily the width If I mark width 40, it will match with this. Then, third, length. Now, if we see the front view, length is, we are not observing the length. And for this purpose only, I have chosen this example, where this line is non-isometric. It is not parallel to length, width or height. Then such lines, how we can mark? We cannot take its measurement directly like this and we cannot mark over here. Then for non-isometric line in isometric views, we have to mark its end points. Initially means take the help of its front view and top view. How we can mark this non-isometric line? So over here, if it is one, its other end is two in the front view. And in the top view, if it is one, this point is 2, this point is 2, then instead of marking the line, now you have to mark that point 2 uh, in this isometric box and how we can mark, this point is right at the top and from this corner, means from this corner, it is at a distance of 20 mm, 20 mm from this, so if this is the corner, from this it is at a distance of 20 so this point is so even though we can give the name to this it is 2 and now this line this line we can join directly so like this we can draw the non isometric line for drawing the non isometric line always Now if we join 2 and 1, this is the non-isometric line. How to mark the non-isometric line? First, in isometric view, we have to mark its end point. Those are 192 and simply join this. So here we cannot mark the length. Now at 1, 3 edges are over. Already now we are having point 2. Here also we can finish 3 edges. Then at 2, in the front view, 
if you see already we have marked this non isometric line then we can treat it as a depth then width in the top view we can see it is 40 and if i mark 40 like this from this point 2 it is 40 it will match with and as per the length is concerned now from 2 length is towards right and it is 20 only from this this point 2 if i mark 20 it will match with this it will match with this so now we'll be having such type of view how many prints are there one two three four five then what i have suggested always choose upper point the visibility is more means if it is two now i'll mark this point as three and this point in the front view it is at this place it is three and in the top view this point is three this point is three again here width is marked length if i mark towards right only and it it is 20 only 20 only we have to mark like this and for the third line it is non isometric if it is 3 then 4 point must be somewhere over here 4 point and in the top view if it is 3 4 point will be this corner and now in the isometric view if we see it so it is going to be the fourth point so it is above 20 above 20 and from extreme back side so this is 3 to 4 means again i have marked the end point of the line and with the help of scale we can join this we can join this we'll get like this now if we see this is not the pre end but it is the pre end so 3 4 or at 4 now we are having 3 to 4 point at 4 already two edges are there we can finish the third edge which is the depth which is the depth and depth easily we can mark like this from this it is 20 if i mark 20 it will match this is the depth then now we are having one two three pre ends so it is four here i'll number as 0.5 it is five and shift this point in the front view it must be over here and in the top view this is the point five so from five length is there what about the depth depth is 60 and if i mark 60 over here from this 60 it will match with this it is going to be 60 and if i mark the width 5 to from 5 it is 40 from this if i mark 40 it will match this and in this when there is no pre end means our object is over and along with this again what is required it's overall dimensioning so i'll show that dimensioning also fastly so its height is Sixty. Show this arrow. Centrally, we have to show that sixty, and then.
for dimensioning always we need these light lines extended So this arrow should be having 1 is to 3 proportion and it should be paired one. With the help of pencil you can draw it neatly. It is also 60 and it is 40. So in isometric overall dimensioning is required. So this is the complete solution of this very simple object and through this what we can learn. So these two lines are non-isometric lines. Means in the isometric view, we cannot transfer its length directly. We have to transfer its ends first. And then joining those ends means it is the drawing non-isometric line in isometric view. Thank you.